Hi everyone, David Maley here, and today I'm going to show you how to evaluate your predictive model. In the earlier videos, I showed you how to build the predictive models, and in this case, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this. And so, generally speaking, you're going to come through Rattle. This is using Rattle, by the way, in R. And generally, what you're going to do is you're going to come through here and you're going to have your linear model. So I can show you how to build that. You go to Evaluate Linear PRVOB which is your predicted versus observed plot and what that'll do is I'll show you the exact confidence or accuracy of your model so you can do that and hit execute here and that brings in this nice chart right here which shows you have a 77.39 percent now we earlier in one of the earlier videos went from a 0.71 to a 0.7739 which is an increase of over six percent which is a you know it sounds small but in the world of business, the business world, it is a huge difference. That could be the difference between a profit and a loss or billions of dollars in profits, especially in highly competitive niches. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you we're taking this is the linear model at 0.7739. And what we want to do is we want to go and take Rattle here. And we want to compare it to a neural net. So here's neural net. And for any of these other models, so you've already run the model for the linear one. For the other models, what you'll have to do is you'll have to run them. You click on the model tab and you click the type. So if I want a tree that I want to, uh, a tree model that I want to compare to, I have to run the tree. If I want a forest model, I got to run that one. If I want a neural net, and these are all sampling uh, models, which they're highly uh, mathematically intense. And what they do is they'll go and take, take samples sometimes 500 or more samples depending on how you pick them or different nodes and uh, they will calculate it that way so what I can do here is let me show you this I've already run the neural net I've run the forest the tree and the linear and so behind me or behind this you can see right here where I have put this first one with the yellow arrow that is the linear model okay and you can see right here it's 0.7739 is the pseudo r square the pseudo R square is basically your confidence or accuracy. So you could say it's 77.39 or 77.4 percent accurate. You can also look at the neural net, which is right next to it, and you can read up on what these different models mean. You can see how the points are a little bit different around it, um, but this is very similar to this one. And you can see right here, it's 0.7739 again. So that's the same thing. So I can stay with my model, or I go with the neural net model. It doesn't give me any gain there. If I go to the decision, the observed decision tree model, which is right here, 0.7742, it's slightly better. You can see the groupings are a little bit different. I mean, but it's just slightly. I mean, you're talking uh, a thousandth of a uh, percent better. So, I mean, in some niches you might want to do that, but I mean, it's such a small difference there, it's really not worth doing. And then this one here, this is the observed random forest model. And this one actually gets an 8315, 0.8315, which is 83%. And so what that tells you is this model is a little bit more accurate. You can see the dots are a little bit different here in how they are um, laid out between, and it's, this one is too, but it shows you how the models are a little bit different. This one gets a little bit closer, so you may want to use this one instead because it's 83% confidence. Now you can do what we did in an earlier video by exploding out the uh, different fields and columns and taking like month to 12 months and making 12 different making a categorical field and then having 12 analytical fields attached to it or input fields and you can do that with various different uh, columns to do that and then you'll see this number actually with some of them that have linear relationships will grow higher so you could actually get this theoretically closer to this actually maybe even above that it depends on how many of those you do and how far you want to go with improving your model and that's basically how you evaluate your model so when you're done with this then you can extract your data or you can input a test data that you want to like so if you're on Kaggle and you're trying to uh, compete and you want to see how, <clears throat> how you can improve grocery data <clears throat> for a grocery chain in Latin America or uh, radio uh, broadcast learning data for somewhere in Botswana or, or whatever the data samples are. It could be any data sample you want. As I've shown you in, in previous videos, all you have to do 
is go into R, uh, go into uh, the Rattle program here, in input your your uh, tables in here. Then you test them, you build your model on them, you build, you know, you start with the linear model, obviously, then you go to compare it to the neural net, forest, tree, and these other ones will open up if it's a data set that can, uh, that you can use those for. And then you hit evaluate, and there's different ways to evaluate. In this case, we're doing pre predicted versus observed. So you can clearly see through these, um, graphs then once you've done that you run it each time and you have to make sure you build the model for each one of these first as I showed you you go you go back in here and just build the model obviously if it was tree I would click this and build the tree here's the tree model it's already built um, I could look at the forest I built that one it doesn't take long to build these linear is here linear shows you the adjusted r squared value and your neural net so if your linear is higher you know obviously that'll be higher so that's how that works and the uh, graphs right here your PR versus observed your predicted versus observed will show you exactly even though your R squared value might have been 0.84 back there your pseudo R squared is what you really want and that shows your accuracy and your level of confidence and you can compare multiple models to figure out where you need to go what you need to work on uh, where you need to improve or maybe you've hit the level of confidence and accuracy that's acceptable for what you're doing and you stop right there and go from there. I hope you found this beneficial. Uh, Rattle's a great program to use with R. It makes it very simple to use. There's not a lot of programming involved at all. It's just figuring out the program and learning where everything is. As I've shown you already, it's very simple to use. You got to use your tabs up here, build your model, uh, then evaluate it, and uh, that's basically it. So thanks again for watching. Please subscribe. Take a minute to like down below and subscribe. And also leave me some comments. I love to hear from my viewers and subscribers. Thanks again and have a great day.